The dream is always to shoot on film, obviously. You know, there's just so much unique character and texture. But as you guys probably know, it can get super expensive, especially in motion picture. And so over the past few years, I've really been trying to find out and dissect all the little ingredients that make film so special to spice up my edits, spice up my footage and stand out a little bit more. You know, we've done grains, letter boxes, all that kind of stuff, but I'm so excited about this pack specifically because it's so many of those little transitional moments and little imperfections that really help sell the film look in such a special way. And so I'm super stoked to be able to share them with you, show you kind of an overview of everything included in this pack, and then show you just how easy it is to use no matter what software you're on. Premiere, DaVinci, you know, I don't know, Sony Vegas. Does anyone use Sony Vegas? Um, but yeah, we're gonna show you just how easy it is. So let's jump into it. All right, guys, so here we are in Premiere and we've got our little sequence loaded up here. Like I said, you can use any editing software, um, but Premiere is my weapon of choice. Here in the project window, you're just gonna do this like you would with any other footage. Um, so you can hit import. I've already done that as you can see. And so, you know, we've got all these amazing assets um, at our disposal now, but I feel like for a visual sake, we're just gonna go in between this Finder window and Premiere, which will let us kind of explore things visually a little bit more. So here in the gritty Film Transitions folder, we have Elements, Film Flashes, Hole Punches, Leader Countdowns, Side Tape, Textures, and then the Bonus Title Template. And let's just kind of look through the elements here. So these alpha files are a huge time saver and game changer because as you can probably see, the background has been removed for you to make the drag and drop process so much easier. No blending modes required, no you know additional filters or anything that you need to add. You can literally, and let's just do it now, you can take this file, drag it straight into your sequence, and just like that, you've got this beautiful little, you know, archive element that is creating some nice interest in your sequence. We have even more of these in the matte folder. Uh, and you can kind of just see really quick, we're just kind of going through and kind of browsing a bunch of this. Um, but we've got, you know, these scribble elements. We've got, you know, like all these sort of leader elements. We've got that, those are sick. We'll come back to that in just a little bit. Then we've got our film flashes. And again, these have been pre-keyed so we can bring something like this flash four, which is one of my favorites. And you'll see that we start here on this clip and as we introduce this flash element, you see that it's pre-keyed on the bottom here, bringing in this sort of pink line on the top. And then it kind of goes to white, which lets you hide the cut. And then as we reveal, it then you know has the alpha element on top to help us do that. So even as is, we're really getting a great effect here as we play back and something much more intentional of a transition. But we can go the step further, maybe change the blending mode to something like Difference. And we're gonna get a crazy more unique look out of this, you know, we could play with, this is again, just a pack really all about happy accidents. So the more we experiment, you know, just the crazier of a results we're gonna get here. But let's kind of keep going through. Let's, let's also grab flash three, which is another favorite. We're gonna pull that over here. Um, and that's looking kind of cool. I wonder if we put maybe the flash on the bottom and then this thing on top. So now we're getting something a little bit more intentional there. We could change this scribble to something like difference, but leave the flash as is. That's feeling pretty cool. All right, let's move on to the hole punches. So again, here we have alpha, which these are kind of super easy to drag and drop on. Uh, we've got these combinations with a bunch of, you know, we kind of took some liberty and stacked these a little bit. Um, but number seven is probably my favorite. Uh, it's kind of got a combination of like the tape elements on the side and some scribbles and the hole punches. And so we're gonna drag that and drop right on. Again, super easy with alpha. But if you have the map pack, you could take the same one, drag it on. And the only difference is that you would just wanna change your blending mode to lighten. So again, if you go with the HD pack, totally cool. Uh, we've still made it super easy for you to be able to use um, these elements and get the exact same effect. We've got these transition elements, which like I mentioned are a little bit more advanced. And so I wanna show you those in just a second, but you can kind of see just how 
cool some of those are feeling. Um, and then let's go to this PNG folder. And what's cool is we've given you the original source files where we literally, you know, took a hole punch uh, to some film. We took, you know, a cigarette and actually burned some of this like in an old school kind of way. And we got these amazing organic, you know, super unique feeling textures that are pre-keyed. So we could take something like this, for example, Let's take number four, which is probably one of my favorites. But usually we're going to do this just one frame. That's kind of, you know, how this is usually used uh, and was used in sort of film for the projectionists. You know, I like combining this with a flash because you can really see the impact there. So if we turn off our scribble layer and just use like the flash and that hole punch, we get that nice, super cinematic kind of feel. And again, there's a few to choose from here, which is super cool. So moving on to leader countdowns, we've got some of these, you know, if you wanted to do something kind of like, you know, old school film intro kind of vibe. Next, we've got our side tape elements, which are these great little elements that kind of can sit on top of a longer piece of footage. And, you know, again, these are pre-keyed. And so you're just going to get this nice little texture on the side that feels really cool. And then finally, we've got textures. So we've got, you know, something like this, which has this kind of like blue sort of, you know, noise in there. And we're going to use this probably just, again, kind of like this side tape, just lay over the entire thing. We've got a good like 10, 15 seconds on this. So we're going to take this and set the blending mode to lighten. And it's hard to tell probably on the compression of this tutorial, but we're getting some really nice little details in the shadows there. Here's off and here's on. It almost adds sort of a color treatment to the entire thing, as well as these nice little like detailed, you know, squiggles, all the stuff. And then again, remember these, these are ingredients. So at the end of the day, you can take this, you can, you know, add levels to it. Uh, if you want that to sort of like punch a little bit more, you could get, you know, just that blue stuff really coming through in a bigger way, treat them as, you know, ingredients in your custom recipe, if that makes sense. Uh, maybe I'm just hungry. Let's go back to our um, hole punches, actually. And we're gonna go to the alpha. We're gonna take that number seven again, one of my favorites. We're gonna drag that right on. And I wanna kind of put this somewhere in the middle of this shot, because that feels like a nice place for it. So let's play through this and you're gonna to start to see, man, like we've really developed a nice little sequence here, uh, literally just dragging and dropping straight from our finder window. Um, super, super cool. So here's before. Totally fine, cool footage, but not very cohesive. And now look at this, just feeling so cool. I do wanna show you one more sort of bonus treatment here that we can do. So here you can kind of see it in action. We've got these two clips uh, that feel obviously very different. One's blue, one's a little bit more, you know, warmer. Um, they're very disconnected, but we can kind of use this transition uh, to sort of connect things in, you know, get a more sort of cohesive feeling in the edit. So again, let's go back to our finder window here. We're gonna to go to hole punches transitions and then grab punch transition one uh, and just drag it over the beginning of our second clip, right? So now we've got this again, totally fine, but let's take it up a notch. So what we're going to do is on this second clip, the one on top, we're going to go to our effects and we're going to type in track mat key. We're going to drag that onto our second clip and it's added to the clip now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the mat to layer three, which is this layer here. It's setting, it, it's setting the mat to our transition. And now as we scrub through, you can kind of see that something interesting is happening. Now it's kind of using the alpha data to pull you know, an element you know, from the last clip into this little transition moment and kind of create this organic, kind of gritty, you know, messy feel, which is kind of cool. Um, and just like that, you know, we're starting to get some good results. Now it's a little messed up. So we kind of need to like fix this up a little bit. You'll notice that we're starting on the first clip. As soon as the transition starts, we start with the next clip, which is not right. So let's fix this up. What we can do is go back to our effect on layer two. We're just going to hit reverse. And just like that, we should have something that makes a little bit more sense. 
that's feeling good. And then let's take it even a next step and we can drag and drop a duplicate of this. And we're gonna change this top one to lighten. And what you're gonna see now is that we get a lot more of that sort of white you know, grit. So here's off and here's on. We're getting a ton more of that sort of like those little imperfections that make this pack so unique. And you know, if we play through this now, that's feeling a lot more interesting. You can find these and tons of other amazing assets to help you sort of spice up your work at esco.tv. And you can even find a free sample pack of some of our favorite assets that you can download and use immediately in your projects. Until then, let us know if you have any questions. Please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Happy editing.